Jean Drusado, the director of the Kent State University Museum, and I'd like to welcome you to Katherine Hepburn, Dress for Stage and Screen. Excitement filled the museum in 2007 at the thought of adding Katherine Hepburn's personal collection of her performance clothes to the museum's collection. Not only are her many films and theatrical performances iconic in the history of American film and theater, but her influence on American style has long been acknowledged. Added to these considerations was the fact that the museum's founding benefactor, Shannon Rogers, had worked on Miss Hepburn's costumes for The Warrior's Husband, her first starring Broadway role. That production resulted in Shannon going to Hollywood to work for Cecil B. DeMille, and Katherine Hepburn being offered a screen test. The rest is history. Upstairs in Katherine Hepburn's New York City home, there was a closet reserved for a collection of costumes she had worn on stage and screen. The contents of this closet were carefully separated from her other wardrobe, and when the townhouse was closed, these special garments were carefully inventoried, packed, and placed in a Connecticut warehouse. The collection spans nearly the entirety of her career, with six stage productions and 21 films represented, as well as garments worn for publicity photographs. The collection, in accordance with her wishes, was to be given by her estate executors to an educational institution, and now is housed at the Kent State University Museum in Kent, Ohio. Katherine Hepburn decided at a young age that skirts were hopeless. As she said, any time I hear a man say he prefers a woman in a skirt, I say try one, try a skirt. More than 30 pair of slacks from Hepburn's wardrobe, most in shades of beige and brown, are now at Kent State. In addition, there's enough yardage of beige wool cavalry twill for another pair. Those in the museum's collection were custom made, either in theater shops such as Brooks Van Horn or Ray Diffin's, or in department stores such as Saks Fifth Avenue. Although the look is casual, Katherine Hepburn knew precisely what would work for her public image and her private life. There is no doubt that she used these garments, for many are patched and worn. As George Stevens, who directed her in Alice Adams and Woman of the Year, remembered, she was never personally much on ornamentation off the camera. She Jimmy Deaned before Jimmy Dean ever thought of it. With slacks, Kate was the first blue jeans woman. She wore blue jeans and it was unheard of. And a sweater. And she was the grand dame of a studio. Hepburn's taste for the unornamented but elegant is evident in the costumes she kept in her personal collection. There's an emphasis on fluid line, on exquisite fabrics and quality workmanship. There is the sure knowledge of what a costume should do for dramatic characterization, for her professional image, and for her personal life. <laughs> ¶¶